What is good everybody and welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we have another episode of My Damn Hauls. It is episode number 26, I do believe. I don't think I've lost count just yet. But we have four packages here today and I also want to feature somebody's figure on here that sent me something very nice of them. They're a loyal subscriber and follower of the channel, but I'll get into that in just a second. But we have four packages right here. We got one from WWE Shop. We got one from Zack Ryder. Yes, one of my favorite WWE superstars, Zack Ryder, literally sent me something in the mail that I will cover in here in just a second. We also have something that I believe a subscriber or follower sent me because he accidentally left it out of one of our trades. And then I have a package from my boy Mad Reaper Studio. Shout out to him. I was actually on his podcast uh, the Custom Underground Podcast, I was on there today, so definitely go check that out. I will leave a link to that in the description below. But with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and get into these hauls. So before we get into the packages, I want to give a quick shout out to at GSD03YouTube, loyal subscriber and follower of the channel. Shout out to you, bro. He sent me this RVD Basic for absolutely free. He is an absolute beast. I uh, posted it on my Instagram. I was like, who has this Basic for trade? And he was like, you know what, bro? I'll send it to you. So huge shout out to him. I will put a link to his Instagram in the description below so definitely go check him out again thank you so much bro but now that we've covered that guys let's get into these packages so this first thing is actually something that was supposed to be included in my trade and i think he forgot to include it and it's all good it's no deal we got a note here as well but um oh so it's taped i see oh no it's not taped oh it is taped okay so you see here it is the smackdown live tag team title um we traded i think i was supposed to do a custom for him and trade for some money and a heat slater elite he forgot the title belt no big deal bro but uh he says james um so yeah that's pretty much it for that but thank you so much james for the smackdown live title cannot wait to get started on that aj figure this next package comes from my boy mad reaper studios very excited for this i actually have a custom fix-up idea that we are going to do on this episode so i'm very excited to see what we got in here so that i can do that for you guys all right guys so getting it open right here as you will see pulling it out of the packages it is a custom fix-up sheamus no i'm just kidding this is actually a uh sheamus torso with Seamus head and arms, but the lower leg, as you see, it has um, ball joints. So what he did was put some X-Pac legs on there with some Heath Slater lower legs. And huge shout out to Mad Reaper. He's an absolute beast. He's one of my best friends in this community. And it actually works out, bro. You actually helped me way more than you thought you did. Because let me show you this. So this is my current Seamus figure right here. And look how old that head scan is. So you sending me this with the head scan attached is totally going to be awesome because now I'll have an updated Seamus. So huge shout out to you, bro. I love you. Mad Reaper Studios. Go give him a follow. Absolute beast of a customizer. He's up there with Showstopper Custom Figs and BEW. Those are the three best customizers in the game right now. But what we're going to do with this, guys, is we're going to make an elite Aiden English figure. I've been wanting to do this for a while, so I'm very excited to get started on this. And don't even get me started... Um, saying that Aiden English isn't this ripped. I'll put a picture up right now that shows you that this man is jacked. So um, get on that. He's jacked. Become an Aiden English fan. Happy Rusev Day. Let's open this next package. All right, guys, before we get into Zack Ryder's package, I want to give you a little background story here. As you guys know, me and my brother went to SmackDown Live in January. Very awesome show in Birmingham, Alabama. And I had this uh, situation with this guy. He actually stole Zack Ryder's shirt out of my hand. You know, Zack Ryder threw it to me in the crowd. And we had a little situation about it, and um, I was very wronged in this situation. And Zack Ryder hit me up. You guys heard my cries. He heard my cries. He hit me up in my DMs, and he wanted to make it right. I gave him my address, and he actually sent it to me. Here it is. Um, and here it is, guys. Oh, my God. This is incredible. He sent me his brand new T-shirt. You know it, I know it, they know it, and it is autographed. This is so amazing, guys. Freaking autographed by the man himself, Zack Ryder, and this is just so amazing. I can't even believe I'm getting mail from freaking Zack Ryder. Thank you so much, bro. Again, you did not have to do this. You are an amazing person and just an amazing wrestler, and I just appreciate this so very much. So, guys, go follow Zack Ryder on Instagram, and I'm sure you all, everybody knows who Zack Ryder is, but just thank you so much, bro. Again, this is the probably the best gift or package I've ever opened on my damn haul, so huge shout-out to Zack Ryder, but now I guess we can get into the last package. All right, guys, getting into the last package on this episode of My Damn Hauls, and I cannot find my freaking knife. So I got my freaking knife, and here we go, cutting it straight open. I don't even think that cut a John Brown thing. No, it didn't.
maybe that got it. Okay, here we go. Um, this is coming from WWE Shop, and as you know, WWE Shop takes an eternity to ship. And as you know, we did just get some recent shop exclusives. Got the paper in there, got the bubble wrap, and bam, here they are, ladies and gentlemen. WWE Shop Exclusive Hardy Boys Elite 2 Pack looking absolutely fantastic. Um, I missed them out on the first shipment obviously because of the uh, the mix up. You know, it wasn't supposed to be that way. Um, digging the new packaging, I absolutely love these things. I think we're going to take them out and take a closer look. I don't think I'm going to do a full figure review on them or anything. So let's go ahead and crack these hoses out of the packaging and take a look. Um, here's a little info there. I'm loving this box. I would love to pick up one of these to keep mock. I love the old style packaging. I wish they would have put the old scratch logo on on there but um, you know it's Mattel and WWE they're very weird and stuff so let's go ahead and pop them open so bam there they are out of the packaging loving the way these things look which ones do you like better guys do you like the new shop exclusive ones or are you guys digging the epic moments so which ones do you like more guys do you prefer the epic moments or the shop exclusive I gotta say you gotta look at them differently you know I like both of them in their own way um, I don't, I'm not the biggest fan of this head scan over here. I do love the new Epic Moments one, but I think all four figures are magnificent, magnificent, and I love, uh, all the head scans, I love all the parts used, the attires, everything is great, and I know that at Las Vegas Toy Con, I don't know if it's tomorrow or what, but we're going to be seeing some new images of the new V1 Matt Hardy that we, um, saw some, uh, sneak peek images of that I posted, um, yesterday, so... Maybe by the time you're seeing this video, we may already have seen it, and I think it's the new SummerSlam Elite. Looks fantastic. I can already tell. I think we're getting a finally some uh, some V1 hands, some freaking interchangeable signature hands, so that'll be great. Maybe we'll get a freaking Jeff like this. I'm going to go ahead and predict that in the future, but, but before we end the video, guys, I want to do a few figure fix-ups right here. I want to see what this looks like with the Aiden English uh, parts on it, and then I want to do a head swap with these Sheamuses and everything, so let's go ahead and do that before we end the video. So here we have both figures after the fix-up, guys, and I am very, very excited. I love the new Sheamus. I know he's not exactly a face here, but I like the smiling head scan. It's updated whether uh, or not. You know, it still looks better than the old freaking, like, 2010 head I had on there. But this head in English looks fantastic. I cannot wait to go pick up some more acetone so I can acetone all the logos off and it'll look even better. Maybe even paint some uh, custom uh, logos or something on there, but I'll probably keep it black just because. Um, but I'm loving this Aiden English. It looks fantastic. I love the torso for it and everything. The arms may can be changed, but I still think his arms are jacked. I may go to a basic Sheamus to get it completely there. So here we have the entire haul, guys. We have the freaking, oops, almost forgot about this. Now we have the entire full haul all together, guys. The freaking Zack Ryder shirt, guys. We have a freaking package, a shirt from Zack Ryder himself autographed. Thank you so much again, broski. That means the absolute world to me. Again, huge shout out to Zack Ryder. We have all of these great figures here from WWE Shop. We got the Hardy Boys. Got this new figure for RBD right here from my boy. Again, popping up his Instagram right here. It's sort of hard to remember, but um, another huge shout out to Mad Reaper for the Sheamus and the Aiden English right here. This custom looks fantastic now thank you again bro but that is going to do it for this episode of my damn hauls guys thank you so much for watching subscribe for more epic wwe and wwe figure related videos leave a like down below try to get this thing to 200 likes and i will see you guys in the next video thank you